Here we are, another month with updates for BidBuddy. Welcome to BidBuddy version 6.3. Today we're introducing version 6.3, which is going to introduce integration for the Park Condition Data Service. The Park Condition Data Service is a brand new service that is going to make bidding much faster and easier for you. We're going to go ahead and load this existing auction from Colorado Springs. And right away, I'm sure your keen eye is going to notice that we've got some brand new icons showing up in the QCI status here. So what this new icon is, this little red triangle, means that the QCI score has already been improved by data provided by the Park Condition Data Service. The green triangle means it's been improved by information from the IAA Data Service. So those QCI scores you see, they will no longer gonna drop as soon as you open the call like they used to in previous to version 6.2, because those have already been improved by the data from those services. So your scores are gonna drop overall, but they're much more accurate. So you still want to look at those top cars that are there. And now the Park Condition Data Service is going to run for any car that's 2006 or newer that does not have hail damage. Okay, And it's for Copart only right now. We're giving a 60-day free trial to all BidBuddy users about this because the Park Condition Data Service is a machine learning algorithm. So it needs more and more data to get more and more accurate. So we found the service so far to be very accurate. But we're hoping that the more users that check this out and take advantage of it will make the service even more accurate for everyone else. So we're looking at this Liberty right here. And we can see already that as soon as I open it, we've got new icons in the part status here for good and bad. And we've got all these parts already selected good and bad just from the part condition data service. Okay. So we got the front bumper, got a picture with an X on it, which means that the part condition data service said it was bad. We're gonna look at that front bumper and it does look like there's some damage here over with the grill area. Left fender does look like it's damaged in the front corner there. Right fender does look like it's nice and good. So we can see those right headlight looks like it is a good. Uh, the hood is saying it's bad. Probably have took some damage. Oh yeah, I see a nice crease there on it. Front door does look okay. The right front door looks okay. So your rear doors look okay. And the back end looks good as well. So as we can see, this uh, algorithm has already accurately predicted all the parts on this vehicle. It's already approved my QCI score for me. I've saved all that work of having to determine if all those body parts are good and bad. And it's going to make my bids much faster, obviously. So if you want to check out the settings for this, there are a few settings you can play with if you need to. We're going to go to settings and then third-party integration. And we're going to go to the part condition data service. And then we can see uh, all these part types that are supported from the Park Condition Data Service. You can double click on any of them and it shows you right here, this is the default range. So that this is a logarithmic scale. So there's all these different prediction levels. So if you wanted to be a little more aggressive in determining parts, give you less unknowns, you can slide these sliders closer together. If you want it to be a little more aggressive on the, on the bad side, you can adjust it so that it's a little more aggressive on the bad side. If you want to be a little more aggressive on the good side, you can be you can swap those as you want. So if you find it's not, it needs help, it needs to be a little more aggressive or not aggressive on a certain part type, you can change this prediction range per part type right inside of here. So that is the part condition data service included with a 60-day free trial starting today, now through July 15th, 2018. We hope you enjoy the new service and let us know what you think of it.